Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I want to go over what I believe to be some of the worst purchases or buying power in Red Dead Online, especially now that it has been out of beta for a few weeks. I've just kind of uh, been checking everything out, just looking at all the different things that you guys can purchase, and what I feel to be the top 10 things that are utterly useless in Red Dead Online, especially if you're a new player just coming to Red Dead Online. Now, some of these things could change over time because some of these weren't necessarily in the beta, and some of these things could change as they add more content. So I'm just gonna kind of throw that out there. There's actually one item in general that I put on here that I think that they will have a use for in the very near future. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this, but apparently I have a random event that's over there. So I'm gonna have to go check that out here in just a jiffy. If we go ahead and take a look at our catalog coming in at, uh, at number 10, all right, so coming in at number 10 again here is under horse and um, tax. We have our horses. Now, it's going to take a while to actually get over there because specifically we are saying that the, or I am saying that the Black Arabian is one of the most useless purchases here in Red Dead Online. And I'm actually going to show you why here in just a moment. So if we actually go ahead and view this thing and we actually look at the Black, Black Arabian, we have the speed and we have the acceleration. Both are six out of 10 without a special saddle. And then with a special saddle or upgrades to the horse itself, then you would get eight out of 10 and it's handling is elite, but it's 42 gold. Yes, I have plenty enough money to go ahead and purchase that, but a lot of new players, it will take a significantly long time to achieve 42 gold. Now, obviously, since it's been out of beta, it's a lot easier to go ahead and get gold. From showdowns, they're actually paying more. There's bonus weeks and things like that. So it's really not as hard as it used to be. But before, when you're only getting 0 0.04 and 0 0.08 gold for some of the showdown series, now you're getting 0.16 a lot of the times. It was significantly harder and took a lot long, longer of a time to do that. Now, if you're going to go ahead and purchase a, a horse, I recommend either the Missouri Fox Trotter or the Turkoman. Now, I personally rec recommend the Missouri Fox Trotter for one specific reason is the overall speed is a little bit better. We actually can get it up to 9 out of 10. Its acceleration is a little bit slower than that of the Arabian Um but overall, its speed is much quicker. So it can still get to destinations faster than what the Arabian could. Now, if you are a race person and only a pretty much exclusively do races, then sure, go ahead and buy one of the Arabians, just not the just not the red one. Just don't don't buy the red one. You're gonna be utterly disappointed. So Anyway, going in on to number nine, if we actually pull up our fishing area, it would be purchasing any of the regular lures. Now, here I can purchase them for money, so it's really not that bad. So it's only $2.50 per item. However, these regular lures here, they break if you mess up with fishing. If you buy the special lake river or swamp lures these will actually not break if you happen to make a mistake while you're fishing especially if you're a brand new person a player to red dead online these things are definitely essential because fishing is one of the best ways to make money so stay away from the lake lures in general so if you look at the gold you know right now they're only a dollar or one gold bar piece i believe that if you're under a certain level they are four gold bars but they are definitely worth the investment now Every gold bar is roughly $25 in game. So you're going to spend $100 towards that lure. But I guarantee that if you guys go after salmon, bass, uh, trout, things like that, pike, whatever it might be, you're going to make your money back fairly quickly, especially if you go after the trout and salmon in the same locations because they're $2.50 per time and you can carry 10. And if you get 10 of both of them, that's 50 bucks. So you already got half your money back right away. Wow, it looks like it's actually getting a little bit dark out here. We got a storm rolling in, it looks like. Looks like coming in at uh, number eight is tonics. So I personally hate 
buying tonics and they are so expensive. And if we go down to the tonic section right here, I mean, look at this, $4.50, $5, $5. Now these don't last very long. We got $7 for the potent miracle tonics. They're just crazy expensive from the catalog itself. I personally stay away from any of these tonics completely. Yes, they give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a buffer, but instead of purchasing them, go down to like Thieves Landing, kill some of the uh, Del Lobo gang and loot everybody. And more than likely, you are going to find all these potent tonics down on um, down in Thieves Landing by looting them or just loot. Uh, players in general, but honestly, uh, if you don't want to get negative honor or become dishonorable, then you could do just a couple of the story missions and then loot them as you are killing them, like kill them each and every one. There's quite a few player people on that one. Uh, just pick a mission that has a lot of enemies in it and you'll be just fine. Now coming in next is actually purchasing any food from the from the general store or from the catalog itself now we have all these different things now all this stuff first of all can be found in in uh, red dead online pretty much anywhere you can go to strawberry you can go to the like the hotel or the welcome center there you can loot people there's random buildings throughout the world that you can find all this stuff for now when you are a brand new player this stuff can get really expensive because you can hold 10 of each kind and but honestly what i would recommend is just go hunting for deer yes you have to have a like a bolt action or a springfield rifle or something that's going to kill them out but if you can get a perfect or a two star you're going to get like four venison per kill and then you can cook that and it's going to fill your all of your cores instead of just a little portion of each core is anything outfit related now i know a lot of people love clothing but if you look at some of these clothing the items, they are incredibly expensive. And I have a lot of money, but still, if you look at some of these, we got 19 gold bars, $150 a piece. We got 265. I mean, we got hats that are really expensive. And honestly, you just don't really need them at all. Either start a persistent posse, which is going to be very very helpful over the long time and you're gonna have access to an outfit or just get something really cheap if you're wanting to get involved in some of like the showdown modes there's no reason for spending thousands of dollars on clothing especially when you are a brand new player it is one of the biggest mistakes that you guys can make as a brand new or even an experienced player unless you honestly have the cash and you really just don't care but honestly these things are way overpriced i mean it would take four or five showdown modes to get to that point, roughly. I I mean, I have a lot of people that tell me that they're making $40 per time, and I have videos of footage, and I'm making like $25 per time, and I'm actually getting MVP. So just kind of throwing that out there. Maybe I'm playing the wrong showdown series, but that's like most wanted, name your weapon, and hostile take uh, territory. Now coming in next is an item that you can't purchase from your catalog and same with actually the next one as well. Now the next two are going to be the high roller revolver, which is completely and utterly overpriced. And honestly, it is a pile of crap. Um, if we actually look at this thing here, I mean, it's, yeah, I, I've only shot this thing maybe like one time ever because it's, I wanted to just purchase it because I said, said that I wanted it, but honestly, yeah, it's uh, it's not really it's not really worth it at all. Just just don't just save your money. If you were one of the uh, PS4 users that had the Ultimate Edition and you got it for free, then obviously by all means keep it. You can't sell it anyway, but don't purchase this thing. It's worse than some of the Cattleman revolvers that you pretty much get for free at the beginning of the game. So stay away from this thing. Uh, now coming in at uh, the next spot is going to be also purchased from the fence. And right now, this is the only item that I say it definitely could change as time goes on with some of the updates to Red Dead Online. And that's going to be the lock breaker. Right now, we really don't have heist. We don't have any like stage coaches that we can rob or anything like that. So right now, there is absolutely no purpose for the lock breaker at all. So just save your money. I think it's like 90 bucks if I remember right. 
and just save your money when it comes out then go ahead and purchase it if something if it's definitely needed but right now it's the only item that i think might change over time that uh it once more updates come to red dead online now the next one is actually going to be right here now i actually had to come all the way up here just because i i never fast travel to a camp i never really hardly ever use my camp whatsoever and i think it's kind of a a waste of it's a it's a money trap in my honest opinion and i'm going to actually show you guys why here in just a second so if we actually go in and talk to crips here so i'm going to break this down into into two different categories we're actually going to go basically the top four and then we're going to talk about crips itself now now we have the themes obviously I bought the hobo life because there was a daily challenge at one point that I had to purchase a new theme, but that is, it was like a hundred or like 200 bucks for this hobo life thing. It, it just, it, it's not worth it. It's just purely cosmetic based. You don't get anything at all. It just says change the appearance of your tent and props around the camp. There's, there's no reason to purchase it. And honestly, look at this. If you're using gold, look how expensive these things are. Buy a horse instead or something. Just stay away from buying anything at the camp. It's definitely not recommended. Now, the only thing that I'll kind of shy away from is the tents. Now, if you actually look at the bottom left-hand corner, each of these, and I haven't purchased this, and I'm actually planning on purchase this one, which it doesn't even look like it's covered at all, so it's kind of interesting, but it, re it refills your cores to 75% when entering free roam and your cores refill 175% faster while resting at the camp. Now, this is pretty much the only benefit of actually having anything at the camp is this because at any time that you join the game, come out of showdown, come back into free roam, whatever you're doing, you're going to basically start at 75% of your cores being filled right off the bat if they're not already at that 75% mark, which honestly, it's pretty good. Now, is it worth $700? Uh, that's debatable. But, you know, over time, this might very well be worth it. Now, the next one, flag, these are all $50 a piece for any different color. If you stay with the original red, you're not spending any money at all. And honestly, I mean, if you really want the colors, go for it, but it's a waste of 50 bucks. And if you buy all the colors all the time, I can't imagine how much money you guys would go ahead and spend on that. Now, the only thing we have under equipment right now is the fast travel post. I do think that there's going to be more options available to this, but I just feel like the camp overall right now, anything purchasing within the camp, except for maybe a couple of exceptions is definitely not worth it, especially if you're brand new. And this honestly doesn't even become locked unlocked until a lot later anyway. Now, the last thing is Crips. And then we're going to go to one more after Crips here, but anything Crips related, why would you purchase anything for Crips? Crips doesn't go outside of the camp. He just sits there, drinks beer all day. He looks like a hobo, and that's really about it. And honestly, there's no point. At least as of right now, there's no point of changing his outfit. Pretty much like changing your own character's outfit. This is just another way to bait you in to spending your money that you don't need to. So this is some of the worst purchases ever. Now... I am going to go into one last thing here, and that is in the catalog again, is purchasing the emotes. These things, and yes, I have a majority of them, but these things are godly expensive. If we're adding, I mean, if we're doing 25 times, that's like a $300 emote, $400 emote for just that. Why would you spend $400 to be able to flex? Now, I had an abundance of cash, and I've pretty much bought everything in the game. I have all the weapons. I have all the pamphlets. I have all the emotes, and I still have the money that I have, which is perfectly fine. So I really don't need any more money. So that's the only reason I purchased them, because I could. But honestly, just stay away from these things. The original ones are just fine. If there's one that you truly want, then get it. But on a lot of these are pointless there is one that is actually pretty funny, and I believe it is, uh, let's see, where is it at? I think it's actually under emotional. Yeah, it's the gag. That one is by far the most funny one of all of them. But, oh, how, I guess I didn't purchase that one yet. All right, interesting. So the gag one, uh, that's hilarious. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. 
and the people that I play with online actually use it quite a bit with each other. But anyway, this video is getting a little bit long, longer than I thought for the top 10. But if you guys did enjoy the video in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And honestly, it only takes a few seconds if you like to smack that like button. And honestly, it does help me out tremendously. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming. Thank <laughs> you.